Hello, I'm Dr. Evalio Prezzo Berne, one of the attending physicians in the Blood and Marrow Transplant Program at Children's National Hospital. But I'm also director of the Bone Marrow Harvest Program. A bone marrow harvest is a procedure where one of the transplant providers will take a special needle and insert it into the hip bone of the donor and collect bone marrow. The procedure for the bone marrow harvest is that the donor will visit our clinic a few weeks before the procedure where one of the providers will take a medical history and do a physical exam and do some laboratory testing to make sure that it is safe for that person to donate both for the donor and the recipient. On the day of the procedure, the donor will come into the ambulatory surgery area and they will be put under sedation and then taken to the operating room where the special needle that I mentioned before will be used to collect the bone marrow. After the procedure is complete, they will go to the recovery area and after they are sufficiently awake, will be able to go home. The risks involved with the marrow procedure are small. There can be some pain that may last for one or two days after the procedure. Very rarely there can be bleeding or infection at the site, and also very rarely there can be the need for a red blood cell transfusion. Thank you for listening today, and we hope to see you soon.